Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Anissa and today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look you see right here. So hopefully you're interested. Keep watching. Okay, so I'm just going to jump right into it using the Pore Professional Matte Rescue Primer. I just like put it all over my face with this. I have really oily skin for like some of you guys that don't know me too well. My skin gets really oily so I really love this one. I'm going to grab MAC Soft Ochre just to prime my lids. With a Sigma 325 brush. A little of this goes like a really long way so I would really watch it. Ooh, how much you put on. Okay, so I'm gonna grab from the Morphe um, 350. What is it? Yeah, 350 palette. Wait, no, not 350. Yeah, 350 palette. Um, I'm going to take a large shader brush from Sigma at 360. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of it and you kind of want to put it right under your, your little brow bone right here. Okay, so this is like my little Z palette from Sephora. I'm going to take orange soda from Anastasia with my MAC 217 brush. Just pop it into my crease. I think I'm going to take like a little bit of a darker orange and put it in here. So it took me forever to like decide actually what kind of video I wanted to do. I didn't know if I wanted to do like a brown lip and like a sparkly eye or like then my sister was just like, no, do something subtle, do something everybody, you know, can wear. So I'm going to grab just like um, a darker, like brown shade. Start popping it right here. And all you do is like these little like back and forth motions. Okay, so I'm just going to go into like another just darker brown than that. I went in with one like that, so I'm just going to get one of these darker ones down here. If you have this palette, then you kind of like, it's really easy and all the colors are really great too. See, you already have like that dimension there going. That's what we want. Okay, so I'm gonna grab like the darkest brown in this palette and I'm gonna put it on the outer and the inner corners right here. And I'm gonna just start like blending them into the middle. So, I am going to grab the Hidden Treasure Palette from Dust of Colors. And I really love this palette. All the colors are super pigmented. It's definitely pricey, but if you're a makeup lover like me, I would tell you to get it. So, usually you probably like know the deal, you know, you use your finger to like get glittery shadows like this because it comes off oh my gosh and I dug my finger into it <laughs> I can't believe I did that yeah if you know me you know I'm like not that bright so seriously I suck so much <laughs> oh my gosh that's hilarious 
And it's like my first video, so like I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't show them that I'm stupid. Wait, can you say that on YouTube? Or like people are gonna get offended, I'm sorry. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to like say anything mean. Um, so I'm just gonna grab with my little pinky. It's all broken up, so that's good. Good job, Lisa. And I'm just gonna put it on like right above my lash line right here. And this, it has tons of fallout, just to let you guys know though. It's still beautiful. Can you see that? Here. And if you got tons of fallout like on me all over your face, sometimes I use, well I should be using, um, a makeup wipe, but I just have this little towel because I was like, just like my brushes off on it, like while I'm doing makeup. So I'll just come under and just clean it up. And so to clean off, if you got anything in your crease, just I'm just gonna go again with my um, E40 brush and just you know just dust it off there. Okay, so let's jump right into my face. So I already got my primer on, so I'm gonna go in with this LC foundation and the color sand. I'm just gonna put it directly just on my hand. This foundation's really great though. After I post this video, I'm gonna post one about what I recommend for foundation, so. I'm just gonna take my Sigma F60 foundation brush. And I always just put it in like the middle of my face first. And if you're wondering why do you put it in the middle of my face, um, you wanna take the product out, you know, to the ends of your face, and this like helps it not just be in all one a lot in one space and as you can tell I have like acne scars and I have like acne going on right now so I was stressing because I was like of course it's like my first video and I have like all this acne going on but that might help some of you guys out you know that have acne scars or have acne as well so I'm not ashamed so I always like leave a little bit on my hand just in case like I'm like oh in this spot I need to add a little bit more Put your hair back, snatch it back. Going through Beauty Blender. Just start taking it out. Since I want a little bit more coverage with the left that I have on my hand, I'm gonna grab my Cover Fix Foundation Drops. And I'm just gonna add a little bit out of here. If I could get any. Okay, yeah, I got some. So I always take like a little, you can use whatever you want to. I always just take a little brush and just, can you see? I just like, you know, just start mixing it in. So my face is not like me today. It's like, I don't care that you're posting a YouTube video. So I'm just gonna go over like my scars that I have right here and just add on the foundation right there. Hope I actually get to do something today, so I'm just I'll still be on the couch with a snatched face. If that's what you like to do. I salute you. Or whatever. <laughs> Ow. Just hit my elbow. I'm just gonna take <clears throat> all of it that I have left in this start putting it everywhere. Sorry, my hair. Make sure you're not blotchy anywhere. Make sure you come right here up in the hairline. Yep, I forget that. Okay, so I'm gonna put that down. 
to move my brushes out of my way. And what are you gonna do next? I'm gonna take my NARS concealer in. This is not the one I wanted, this is Ginger. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. This is Ginger. Ginger's like a color like I wear, like if I don't, if I'm just like leaving the house and I need to go really quick and I don't want like a major contour or like anything like that. But I use Custard, that's my color in this one. And I really like this concealer. So, I'm just gonna bring it right here under my eyes. Right now it's like funny because you guys are watching my video right now, but like to me it's like I'm just recording this and it's like I'm talking to myself. So, you know, I just have a good time with me. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm the type of person that I have like these huge laugh lines on the side of my face. And I'm just like, ugh. So I've learned that don't rub it in right here if you're gonna conceal this part. Just lightly get it and just, just lightly go over them. And then go over here, cover these. I'm gonna bring it right here. I'm going to get my beauty blender again and just come in this part too it's like if you wanted to like sharpen out the corner of it you totally can but I think I'm just going to leave it rounded out. And I crease so much under my under eyes and it kills me. So I always try to like try to put the product as like low as I can so I just spread it up so not that much product is under my eyes and it doesn't get clogged in like my creases. That's not fun. And so you just want to like, just lightly do this part here, especially if you crease. I always like kind of like drag it up like this. So before I finish the top of my face, I'm going to get my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I always try to set my creases like right away so they last longer because they try sabotaging me. <laughs> I'm just trying to do this like carefully because I hate it getting my eyebrows even though it'll just dust off. But still. I didn't even do my under eyes well. What am I doing? I need to get myself together. I try not to put it like right, right under my under eyes because while I'm letting this, you know, bake, I like to finish off my eyes. So, I'm going to take. A lot of people use like a flat definer brush on their lower lash line and I think that's what you're supposed to use but I never do so um, I'm just gonna take a E20 brush by Sigma I'm gonna go back into the Morphe palette and I'm going to take this orange shade right here the darker one I'm gonna put it all on my lower lash line right here. I'm already creasing under my eyes. Cool. Thanks. 
for that. Okay, the one thing you have to know about me, my face like literally eats makeup. Like I'm so oily that my face will just like drown out all the makeup, so I always have to put like a ton. So if you're like, gosh, why is she putting so much orange in her eyes? It's because by the end of the video it'll be like, okay bye girl, I'll see you later. Right. And then I'm going to take yeah. This brown color right here. And right here, the outer of your eye. Take some more, right there. I'm gonna drag it out, but not all the way out because you still want that orange to peak right there. <laughs> then I'm going to take. I'm gonna mix, like. Let's see, let's see. So I'll be seeing. I'm gonna mix like these two right here for my outer little lash line. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you guys I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but my stomach's going crazy over <laughs> here. It's like so funny. Oh my gosh, it's her first video and this girl thinks she's a comedian over here or something. <laughs> okay, so if it looks like a lot under my under eye, it's because it does not last for me. So if you have that same problem, well, these are the videos for you. Okay, so I'm gonna take my E40 brush again and dust off this glitter that I have going on in my crease. No one's perfect. It happens. And makeup artists that don't have them in their pictures on Instagram, it's because they edit them out. So I used to feel like, oh my gosh, why doesn't mine come out like that? But it's like, okay, wait, I got face tuned and I'm like, okay, wait, my pictures can look exactly like that. So don't feel bad. Um, so I'm going to put that away and come back and dust this off with my dual fiber 750 brush from Sigma. Um, almost all my brushes are from Sigma because they are beautiful. <laughs> I'm just gonna adjust it off. So I love MAC Give Me Some, that's what I'm gonna use today. But I might also mix it with another bronzer depending on how this comes out for me. So we'll see. So I'm taking my MAC I think it's a 135 brush. I think it's like going crazy. And I'm just gonna, you know, dust it around in there. I like to do the most with bronzer, so if you're not into that, you don't have to put this much, but I like it. Just put it right here. Make sure you get it into like your hairline because you don't want this like random cloud that's like right here. You want it to look like it's blending, like it's your face, like it's blending in, so. So if my hair is get crazy, you know why. So I'm gonna dip into it again. And I'm going to go right here and swoop it down. Go up and swoop it down. Let me take some more. It is coming through for me right now, so I don't know if I'm gonna use another bronzer because that just might be ridiculous. You think it's coming through for me, cameraman? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm I always put it like right here on the top of my cheekbone. Because when you put it like too much lower, then you're getting into your contour you did right there and you don't want to do that. take some more and you always want to do it right here so with that slim look you know like I was at in shape all night long <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> my camera woman, you don't know if it's a woman, you don't know if it's a man, is also my trainer <laughs> in shape, so I can't wait to like reveal the person one day so you can hit them up. I'm gonna go back into it real quick because after I do that, I always like just like keep on going. I'm just like, hey, what's up? How was your day? Let's make some food. Of course, you guys didn't know what was going on, huh? In this whole like look, but now it's coming together. So, thank you, Jesus. So I'm gonna put that brush back, and sometimes I actually use that. Let's say you buy this brush, and you're like, okay, I just do not have the money to buy all kinds of brushes. This is a really good bronzer brush, and this is a really good all-over blush brush. If you don't want to have like a really harsh blush, because I'm usually not really into that, but this brush that I'm about to use is still really good. Um, this is the Sigma powder slash brush, blush brush. And this is the F10. So I'm gonna take my MAC. This is called Modern Mandarin. And this is like just like a real like orangey pink blush because I don't like really pinks. It's like too much for me. Just just it right here over. And you wanna mix it into your bronzer, like that's what you wanna do. I think I'm doing everything backwards right now but it's whatever we gotta do it sometimes I'm going to finish out my eyes using this is another Z palette I have um, this is a makeup geek color I wish I could tell you what color it is but if you have these little things that go on these Z palettes they're so hard to take out so it's like I'm not even gonna do that it's just like a really sparkly like pinkish color if you don't like that like dramatic inner corner look, you don't have to add this part of it, so. Okay, now that we're done with the eyes, I'm going to do my highlight, and I just found this thing that I really love, and this is the Sunbeam by Benefit. It's like, it literally looks like nail polish. My sister actually thought it was nail polish, and I was just like, my bro. Um, so you just wanna like, just tap it right here. And they have like another one that's called High Beam, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Um, and it's like if you want like a more intense, bright highlight. But I usually go for like really brownie highlights. Brownie. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, I'm cracking myself up in here as I'm like, okay, you're not even that funny. <laughs> Okay, so you just get your finger and like, you just bring it up a little bit because it'll kind of stick in that place if you just don't do anything with it. So you just want to bring it down, bring it up, bring it around. And just do the same on the other side. Oh my gosh, I just noticed I'm using that finger. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I'm going to take the beautiful um, Anastasia Glow Kit, and then this one, That Glow. I don't know what the other one's called, I didn't get it because the colors were like really intense for me, but it's still beautiful, so I'll probably end up getting it one day. Um, so I'm going to take Dripping in Gold and golden bronze. I'm gonna mix those up with my with my Sigma F35 brush. Just gonna mix those up. And there's no rule with your highlighter. If you just want to be glowing like a ball, just do it. If I saw you on the street, I would have so much respect for you, so 
I just keep going. See how pretty that is? It's like literally just like a glowy highlight. Don't you agree? Mm-hmm. Seriously, if you guys can hear my stomach. It's making me crack up. So I always just do these little circle motions just like this. You see how I go from serious to funny and like, this, you just gotta roll with it. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, this is my favorite part right here. Cupid's bow, light it up. especially like if you're single or if you just got out of a relationship and you're trying to win your man back and he used to love your lips or something like that make him remember it put it in the cupid's bow right here he's like gosh they're looking better than ever and you're gonna be thinking of me and you're like gosh thank god he must have told me that <laughs> right mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so i'm done with like the whole face thing so I'm going to be back and I'm going to put my mascara and my eyelashes on. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. I threw on some lashes. Um, so now I'm going to take my Kylie Cosmetics um, lipstick and Candy K. And I absolutely love these. If you don't have this one, don't even sweat it, just use whatever kind of like nudish, pinky tone you kind of have. My lips always tend to give me a hard time, so let's see. Well, that's the end of this makeup look. I hope you like it, and I hope you guys subscribe and watch um, all my other videos. So, thank you for watching.